I just bought a couple hundred soda bottles and some wooden crates for $35. They're very common for the most part, so I was very reluctant to buy them, and I started out offering $20 for this stuff. A lot of it I plan to throw away. Pepsi bottles like that are just so common it's almost impossible to sell them. Especially if it's faded and has that heavy case wear. There's only one really perfect crate and the rest are average or some of them are just so rough I might have to throw them away. And then these of course are just so common, these 16 ounces especially. I really didn't want to have to get more of this kind of stuff. But there is one or two really good bottles in there. There's a few good ones in here. I've already got about 30 of these, but still, that's the only one that came in this collection. But then there's three Carolina Clubs. That's a Pepsi product. I looked it up in the book and it said $55 each. Now whether I can get 55 or not, that's the question. I seriously doubt I could get that much. Probably about half that much if I'm lucky. Lumber. And here's some more of them. That 7-Up crate is the one that is closest to mint condition. So I may be able to get 18 or $20 if I'm lucky. I sure didn't want to get any more of these because I just threw away about 25,000 of them. But there's a few of this kind in there. But only one has a city name on the back. Well, at least I got four of these carriers. They're kind of nice. Then I got a wink. That's one of the nicer Canada Dry items. Then I probably got eight or nine of these. Then I got a few of the Patios, which is another Pepsi product bottle. And one Red Rock. No city on this one. Then I got a few of the Sun Drops. It's kind of a nice looking bottle. Then some of these Orange Crush bottles from the late 60s and early 70s. Probably got a six pack of these. And then this variety. It's kind of nice because it's a local bottle. It's from Washington, North Carolina. We got a few of these. Then a bunch of 7-Ups, but there's some Mountain Dew in there. Unfortunately, just one of the Hillbilly ones. and It's the later style. But these came out in the early 70s. The one with the Yahoo on it's kind of scarce. Then a bunch more of the really common stuff. A few Fanta bottles at least. They're pretty hard to sell though. Then another one of these shaped bottles from Canada Dry. One of the 7 ounce Canada Dries. It's the only 7 ounce bottle I got out of this collection. Well, it's not very exciting stuff, but those Carolina Clubs, if I can just sell one for $35, that'll pay for the entire collection. They are sparkling mint. They certainly look like they'll be in mint condition after I wash them. Well, until next time, 